The school is in an area of very high deprivation levels. Um, we have over 60% free school meals and uh, many of our families don't work. They're out of work so it is an area of uh, great need. I'm Rebecca Aiton. I'm known by the kids as Bex. And I deliver their Chance to Shine programme uh, as well as other aspects of, of cricket. I think Chance to Shine's had a massive impact, certainly in our area. Um, the MCC spirit of cricket is all of those things that cricket has that's good about it. It's all those things about learning to, to win with humility and to lose with grace, to give them the skills and, and the understanding of what it means to win and lose. When you win, you always have to uh, tell the other team how much of a good job they've done. If you like lose, you have to shake the winner's hand because it's like being like a good sportsman and that. One of the big things I've noticed is that the children learn to mediate with each other, they learn to manage their feelings, they learn to um, support each other in a positive way. The difference between Chance to Shine and previous programmes is the shift in in focus. Previous programmes have been very technical orientated, preparing children for competitive cricket. Chance to Shine I think does all those things as well, but I think it also prepares them better for transferring to a cricket club. I think it prepares them better for life by using this, the tagline of educating through cricket. Chance to Shine has had a huge impact on our school, both in terms of um, introducing children to cricket, but also in terms of the social and emotional, the seal aspects of it, managing emotions. Now, when children within a team make a mistake, what you don't get is the histrionics and all the sort of, oh, it's your fault, all sort of thing. What we tend to find now is the children are very much more supportive, it doesn't matter. Well, I wouldn't be a bad sportsman. I would say, well done, you played very well, and better luck for next time.